guys, Tebow2 here, back with another episode of TARDIS Tutorial. I'm on a different world again today. Um, let's walk on in. And basically the feature I have today is, uh, this is our dematerialization lever. It's the only control I have on this TARDIS in this world, but that's alright because this is what I'm going to be showing off today. Uh, there's no sounds, but uh, cool effects when dematerializing. Some cool smoke coming out of these vents, and really cool spinning lights that, um, yeah, were a lot simpler than I thought they would be to make. But yeah, how'd I do all this? Well, I'll show you. Show you that everything turns off once we do this, and yeah, the drop doors don't have to be there. Anyway, point is, how did we do this? Well, um... Yeah, this is just a basic redstone stuff, but there is some command blocks involved. Um, so the obvious first thing would be just doing execute if the lever is powered on. You guys should know how to do that. Um, and if so, it's going to run into this block, which will power these two command blocks. What is this one? Uh, set block air. What block is this setting to air? Well, it's actually setting this... Uh, redstone block here so that the main lights will kind of go off when we dematerialize and then we also need to turn on these spinning lights and how do we do that well this other one will um, okay that one that one doesn't actually work it was supposed to make the console like spew out a bunch of smoke when we started but I couldn't get that to work um anyway so the one that you're really interested in would be over here and I just have some repeaters just to make the signal take a second and then it'll actually place an observer um, and it's actually the final observer that would go right here so it would be something like that actually facing the other way yeah there we go get them all facing into each other and basically this is how this system of the spinning lights works basically yeah so like i said that command block places in this last observer completing the circuit and updating the observers beside it um, which will start the system and then once you turn it off, uh, it'll place back that redstone block up here, and then I believe it's this one then. Yeah, that replaces this back with um, just an air block. But you can see what's happening here. Um, I wasn't too familiar with observers until I made this. Um, but yeah, you basically just, what an observer does, for those of you who don't know, it basically just detects block updates. And so obviously when you place an observer here, that is a block update, which will power on this observer, which then travels through the redstone into these observers, again into the redstone. And that's how you get kind of the spinning effect. It goes along with the observers as they are getting powered and basically just it loops around endlessly. And that's how you make this effect. Um, and below each of the three observers um, in each of these sides, there are some observers facing down into the uh, lights here, as you can see. Basically just carrying that signal from the block update into the lamps. And so, yeah, I mean, this system, I don't know, it's easier than it sounds, honestly. Um, I mean, I wasn't too familiar with observers until I made this. Um, and... I was actually helped to make this by a YouTuber called The Letter O, who does a cool Bedrock Edition TARDIS that you guys should probably check out. He's pretty smart with that. Uh, I'm not as familiar with Bedrock Edition Redstone and Commands, so uh, yeah, he's good to check out for that. And uh, yeah, I noticed he had this cool light system, and I thought, hey, that would be cool to implement, so I asked him how he did it. This is how he did it. Um. Yeah, and then the final thing would just be um, these couple command blocks surrounding this one, um, which literally they just spawn, spawn the smoke particles coming out of those um, vents. And yeah, I think the effect works pretty well. Definitely adds some life to the TARDIS. Um, all this one's really missing is the sound, but... Uh, you guys know how to make the sounds. That was in, like, episode 6, I think, of the series. So, uh, yeah. Feel free to implement this on the main TARDIS world. 
Um, I don't know if I will yet because, um, especially with the, um, like the desktop changing feature, like all the console rooms are basically different shapes. So, um, yeah, it would be kind of messy to try and put in all this redstone for all three of them. Um, you guys can try that. If you have any success, feel free to send like a video or something just showing how you did it. Um, and actually implementing that for all of the, um, desktop controls, but, you know, like I said, it, it just would be kind of a hassle to do, so I won't do it yet, but, again, you guys can feel free to do that, or you can use, you know, obviously the same system in your own TARDIS builds, kind of like I've done here, um, in this testing world, but, uh, yeah, I have been TiVo2, that is basically all for, um, Basically just a TARDIS uh, lighting and particle in-flight effect system, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, that's all. I've been Tebow 2 Be sure to subscribe to follow my Instagram, tebow 2 yt to follow my Twitter, tebow 2 yt um, to join my Discord, and finally, to have a nice day. Goodbye.